Facebook audience insights went away. But Facebook told us, don't worry, don't worry, we're going to put that information in Business Suite Insights. And when Business Suite Insights came along, they were nowhere to be seen. But what's this? Mrs. Hat was browsing through her Business Suite Insights and something appeared. What is this potential audience tab? This brand new addition to Facebook Business Suite Insights does do some of the things that Audience Insights used to. And I'm going to show you around. I'm going to show you what you can do with it and what you can't do with it that you were able to do with Audience Insights. Let's start by looking at what it does show you. Under that Potential Audience tab, it tells you you've got a potential audience of well, it's going to vary, but for me, it's 3,500,000 people. And it says that this is including people on Facebook and Instagram in Ireland, the country, and two other filters selected. And if I hover, I can see what those filters are. So all genders, age 18 to 65. And this gives me kind of a generic picture of the people in Ireland on Facebook. If I scroll down, I can see their age groups, whether they're male or female, and where they live. I can also see the top pages for Ireland. So we've got things like Lidl and Pennies and Lad Bible and Aldi and RTE. So this is a good gauge of what's popular in general with people in Ireland who use Facebook or Instagram. Let's scroll back to the top. What's interesting is this is giving me data for people on Facebook and Instagram. As far as we were aware, Audience Insights only gave you information of people who were on Facebook. Now, here's the fun bit, filters. If I click into filter, this is giving me some of the options that I used to get on Audience Insights. So you can see I can filter by location. Maybe instead of Ireland, I want the United Kingdom. And you can see that the audience has gone to 50 million. I could change my age group. So for me, my age starts around 34 and I'm interested in people maybe up to around the age of 60. Now we can see my audience has gone down to 22 million. I can choose a gender, 12 million. And I can choose interests. So this is where the fun bit is. This is where this becomes most like audience insights. If I type in entrepreneur, let's see what happens. We'll go for entrepreneurship. We're down to 3 million, which is a much better size of an audience. Let's get rid of that gender for a moment and see the gender split. So 35 to 44, still mostly women in that age group and mostly women here. So that's interesting. I can see my top cities, which include London right at the top and goes all the way down to Nottingham. If I scroll down again, it's not showing me the top pages and I'm not quite sure why that is. Let's get rid of this age filter and see, does that make a difference? And now we can see it's back. And again, we've got the big pages on Facebook. We've got Lad Bible, we've got Amazon, we've got Unilad, T Tasty, BBC News, Facebook app, which is interesting, right? So here we can see the sort of pages that they're interested in. Let's see if I get rid of entrepreneurship, how much that changes. And yeah, look, it's almost exactly the same. And this, I think, is where this isn't as good as Audience Insights because the nice thing about Audience Insights is it will give you a real deep dive into some of the more interesting pages and interests that people would have. One thing I do like is if you click on this export button, you have the option to export this data, which will make it easy to share with customers. So I can export it as an image, which would make it really handy to slot into presentations. I can download it as a .csv file, which I can open in Excel, or I can export it as a PDF. And this is better than Audience Insights. Audience Insights didn't use to give us that option. Click back into filter and you can see once I've added all my pieces, so I'm going to put entrepreneurship back in. 
I can click on create audience, give it a name and it should appear in my ads manager. I can also just click on create ad and that brings me into my ads manager but weirdly the wrong one is bringing me into my personal ads manager rather than my business ads manager and there's nothing happening here to do with that audience so I find it slightly weird that it's giving me that option maybe that is still in development. One thing that I used to love about Audience Insights is that I could plug in some interests like entrepreneurship or female entrepreneurship and it would start changing and it would offer me up new interests that they may have and it would offer me up random locations and small towns where hubs of these people that were interested in that would reside. Now it just shows me big pages like Lad Bible and Amazon.co.uk. It hasn't got that full suite of interests. And location wise, it is almost impossible to knock London off that top spot. Why is this the case? Is it because Facebook no longer have access to that data because of privacy updates, because of things like the Apple iOS 14 update. They just don't know that much about their audiences anymore. There's no hint of the devices that my audience uses. So I can't find out how many people are actually iPhone users or Android users, which could really help when I'm measuring the results of my ads. There's also a whole missing section about what people do on Facebook. I like to be able to see were the people I, I was targeting likely to click ads? Were the people I was targeting liking Facebook pages, engaging with content on Facebook? And the reason this has disappeared isn't clear because surely Facebook still knows what people are doing on Facebook. That's not data they're gathering from somewhere else. And then there's the big one. The big thing that is missing is the ability to analyze your own audience in this way. I can see the demographic information. I can't see what Facebook pages they like, what their interests are like I could in Audience Insights. As you can see, Business Suite Insights are still a long way from what Audience Insights used to be. Why is this? Well, as I've said already, it could be because of all those privacy updates. It has to be because I can't see why Facebook would want to limit this tool that helps us create better performing ads that would make us more likely to create Facebook ads. As soon as there's an update, I'll let you know. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel.